I directed the first episode of season six this year called Who Are You Really? Power shut down. From the very moment that I read the thing, I knew that I wanted to play episode one as a kind of thriller in the cold open. I never had the camera on a tripod. I never had the camera on a dolly. We were just literally handheld and we were running. The music that I had in my head was this kind of percussive I wanted to give it a feeling that you were with the actors as they're going through what they're going through. I think we had more storyboards for the cold open pre-titles than anything else that we had on the whole episode. Mommy! You can do this! I can't, I can't, I can't. Mommy! We have that moment where Luna dies. There was this kind of unbelievable moment, which is gone now, but Sam shoots a guard, goes over and picks up the vampire guard's innards, and then shoves them into Luna's mouth, trying to revive her, and it was a really moving moment, and Sam did it beautifully, but ultimately, it wasn't driving the story along. That's one of the things that you find when you're in the edit, is like, is it pushing the story along, or is it just there for the sake of, wouldn't it be cool to have somebody shoving innards into somebody's mouth? Stay where you are. I just want to talk. The sequence where Suki stakes Bill was a difficult one tonally to get right. It's obviously this extraordinary moment where we find out really how powerful Bill is, what Bill is. But also from a technical point of view, there were certain angles where the piece was going to get better and there's certain angles where as we turn around, we get to see the piece sticking out of his back. We have the piece being removed and all of the sort of optical stuff as well as the emotional bit of Bill having just been staked by Suki. But I think what Suki's going through at that time is that this isn't Bill. There is no Bill left. She is protecting her friends that are alive or in Eric's case, you know, undead. You staked him to save me. I never expected that from you. I never expected it from myself. I wanted to try and get Suki and Eric back to a place where there's a mutual respect. So much has happened between those two characters and they've been sort of on their separate paths. And I really wanted for them to reconnect. He does this selfless thing, which is to, to protect her. He, you know, so that no vampires can come in. You know, he gives her the house back so that she has dominion of her home again. And that gives her another respect for him that perhaps she wasn't expecting. Eric. Yeah. I want my life back. Which is why I'm rescinding your invitation to my house. We've done so many getting people out of the house in so many different ways. You know, I've been, I've stood on a dolly and kind of been pushed out going, ah! We had that hilarious thing last, last year with Michael McMillian, who plays Steve Newlin. And he had a camera strapped to himself. So I wanted to do something much smoother. And it's almost as if the way that your invitation is rescinded has an impact on how it happens. And because she does it in a gentle way, I wanted it to feel gentle as he moved out. What was that about? None of your business. <laughs>